people that is super stressed and anxious during the holiday season. You just can't wait for it to be over. Get tired of Mariah Carey song all the freaking time everywhere you go. Well, I hope to help you with that today. My name is Keisha Martine and I'm a licensed professional counselor with Venus Springs. Stick around to the end of the video and I'll tell you how you can get a free 30 minute consultation with a therapist. So let's get started. You're here because you are already dreading the holidays. The first tip I have for you is to challenge your expectations. Are you expecting too much of yourself? Buying the perfect gift, cooking the perfect meal, going to all the recitals, attending all the office parties. Well, you gotta bring it down to earth, I gotta tell you. You're only one person, you can't do it all, and it's okay to say no. So think about what is it you're expecting of yourself? Challenge it, like, wait, am I being realistic here? Or am I expecting too much of myself? And if you are expecting too much of yourself, ask, what's the reason that I'm doing this, right? Is it for me or am I trying to people please? Tip number two piggybacks right off of that expectation tip, right? You gotta set boundaries. That means boundaries for yourself and boundaries for other people. So what is within your capability? What is realistic for you? And being okay with saying no, and if you can't say no, my suggestion is saying something like, no, but this is what I can do. So you don't have to go to the holiday parties or stay the whole time, right? Maybe you might just stop by and make an appearance and then split, right? Or maybe you don't need to attend at all. Think about what's important for you. And if you feel off and you feel angry and you feel frustrated and tense, it's probably because you need to set a boundary. So think about that as you move towards the holidays. Tip number three, self-care. I know it's totally overused. Everybody's like, practice self-care, you gotta take care of yourself. But it's true. You can't do anything for anybody if you're not taking care of yourself. You cannot give from an empty cup. It's just the way it is. So what does self-care look like to you? Does it mean shutting yourself in the room for like 24 hours and not talking to anybody? Or asking your parents to take the kids for a couple hours? Self-care can look very different for different people. Oftentimes, people think of self-care as like physical things like taking a bubble bath or painting your nails, get your nails done, or going out with friends, right? Those are all true, but self-care also is a very much an emotional process. Really thinking about, okay, what's going to help me manage my distress right now? Okay, because we can't make the stress go away, right? But we can learn how to tolerate it and to make the best of it and recognize that this is all temporary. So what does that look like to you? Do you need to practice a little bit of compassion with yourself and not judge yourself too harshly about not getting the perfect gift or not cooking the turkey just right? So everything could be perfect and something still could go wrong, right? So rather than trying to be perfect and rather than trying to make everything just right, realize this is just a moment in time. It's going to pass by in a snap. And so what's the reason that you're really stressing over everything? Is it because you, you need some validation of some kind? Well, those are things you need to think about when you're thinking about taking care of yourself. Let's wrap it up. I know that was short and sweet, but holidays are coming and I gotta respect that you don't have time to be listening to somebody drone on and on and on about what you can do. So tip number one, what? Challenge your expectations. Are you expecting too much of yourself? Are you worried too much about what other people think? What's the reason that you're being unrealistic? I'm bringing it down to earth, okay? You're not superwoman or superman, so you're not gonna be able to do it all, and that's okay. And if people don't understand, that might be for another video. Nothing's gonna fall apart if the present that you got isn't perfect, or if the stuffing isn't quite right. So just be real with yourself, okay? Tip number two, setting boundaries. Being able to say no when you need to say no. Not traveling two hours to go see your aunt who you barely speak to like ever. <laughs> Say no when you need to. Be honest with yourself about what you wanna do and what you don't wanna do, and be honest with other people. Tip number three, self-care. What does that look like to you? Not only physically, but emotionally. What is it that you need to tolerate the distress when it's present for you? Because we can't avoid it. So think about that also. So I hope those three tips were helpful. And if you have comments or thoughts about it or you wanna expand on it, please leave me a message in the comments. As promised, I told you to stick around and you'd find out how you can get a free 30 minute consultation with a therapist. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to my website and under the contact us page, you're gonna fill out the form. And in the subject heading, I want you to put holidays 2020. And the message, leave me a way to get in contact with you and we'll schedule that consultation. If you like this video and the content was helpful for you, smash that like button. And until next time, be well, be strong, and be loved. 
so many people. All the all the shopping, all the things, Mariah Carey, everywhere. 